who doesn't like strawberries? <laughs> they are just delicious and we're growing them here at Gardenville.tv. Now Susan's going to show us what we're doing. Right, we're planting these strawberries, uh, they've come out of little pots. They're going in round the sweet pea and they're about oh, 10 to inches to a foot apart. And as they're on the edge of this here, what we hope is the strawberries will grow over the edge and your strawberries, the actual fruit, will be kept well off the ground so they won't rot or anything. Um, you plant them, as I say, about this far apart. They don't need to be over fertilised and you get about three years out of strawberries before you need to replenish them. Now, the, what they do do, it's, I'll just sort of give you a verbal description, is they grow runners, what we call runners, and then they grow another little plant with roots in and you can actually put those into a pot, get them to root in a pot, chop them off and use that as your next plant. Or else what you do is you throw out your strawberry plants after about three years, three to four years, and you buy a new lot and you put them somewhere else in the garden. So should you get a good clump of strawberries from each plant with a new plant like what we're putting into the garden now? Um, we should do all right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. great, okay. And do. this is a nice tidy way of doing strawberries because out in the garden, if you ask me now, um, and I know it can work, but if you're very busy working and everything, you know, they need a little bit of keeping them warm and all that, don't they? Um, if am it, I, wrong? I mean, you can bring them on more quickly if you put cloches and things over them, but no, they don't particularly need to, right. be, to be warm. I love this idea. I think it's real organised and it's real clean, and isn't it? For somebody well, like me. Yeah, yeah, you can grow them here. You don't have to have a huge bed out in the yeah. garden. You'll get a certain amount from these. Um, of course, the other thing I was going to tell you about them is, which has completely gone out of my head. Uh, it might be that you need to water them regularly. Oh, you do need to water them, yeah, especially when the fruit is ripening. Now, do you see the little bud, the little flower bud? Is that the fruit? That will be the fruit. The okay. Flowers first, white flower, and then the fruit forms behind that. Great. Yeah. Okay. Right. So let's hope. And Susan, um, is this like the more as you pick them, more flowers come? Um, or do you Not just get a crop and that's you it? You get a crop but basically and that's, and that's it. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. we're just planting them in this grow ring. We have our sweet pea, which we have a clip on, on how to plant sweet pea. So we're doing the sweet pea up the middle and then we're doing the strawberries around the outside. Isn't that gorgeous? That I'm hoping now when this all comes into bloom, you're going to see this at Gardenville. How pretty this will look. The strawberries, yeah, that's the other thing I was going to say. They do like sort of full sun. Some of these will get a bit more shade behind the sweet pea. It just means we get slightly fewer strawberries from them. They will to cope with a little bit of shade. Right. But well, the this more sun, the more flower, the more strawberries. Well, this area does get sun later now. It'll get sun at about 12 o'clock. And then there'll be sun for six hours. Oh, that would be fine. That'd yeah. Be plenty. yeah. So that's great. Yeah. Definitely follow this. I'm dying to see what this is going to look <laughs> like. It'll be really pretty, I reckon, with the strawberries yeah. out. And nothing Strawberry nicer than to come out and pick your own strawberries. So Gardenville.tv, we're on Facebook, on Twitter. Contact us and share your gardening with us. Until the next time. <laughs>